What the heck is this thing? Oh, I can't budge it, but it's metal. <sighs> All right, guys, I gotta admit, breaking this pasture's been kicking my butt. A little physically, but it's more of a mental game. So you can see the darker area that we raked out yesterday. We're gonna seed that this morning. But everything else we did pretty much got raked out with all the rain we got the other night. And it's just so frustrating. That's what we've been having all summer long is just downpour after downpour after downpour. At some point today, I'm gonna have to go online and figure out how much rain we've gotten this summer and share it with you guys. I know we've gotten over a foot of rain this summer. And every time we get it, we're getting like an inch to two to three inches in like a half an hour to an hour. It's just coming down, torrential downpours, washing out what we're hoping to make into a pasture. It's washing out our dirt road. It's just frustrating and it's hard because we have no control over it. Especially for somebody like me, like I like to get stuff done and see progress. I have no control over the rain. It's hard. I know it'll come together, but it's just defeating every time you do something and it gets washed away on you. This is the winter rye. So now this dark brown area looks nice. We got a few big rocks we need to pick up, but not bad. All up here looked like that, but look at all the rocks now that are showing. That's what happened when we got the inch and a half of rain in like a half an hour the other night. It just washed everything out. Just so frustrating. Then we come down over here. This area we haven't been able to rake at all this year and it keeps getting washed out. We got mud sinkholes, sinkholes. We got swamp grass that's growing in. Look at all this debris that's been washed down here. Then you just got standing water, standing water, standing water. I was hoping I could get this area over here raked in this, but it's too muddy here. And even over here, it's still pretty darn muddy. We started working it yesterday over here a little bit and we're getting stuck, stuck over there and you can just see all the mud spots. We gotta seed that area this morning and then I'm gonna have to call it quits for a little while. This area that we haven't raked yet, is gonna have to dry out quite a bit before I can do anything. <sighs> open that we'll be able to get to it before winter comes it's just hard when it's a passion project of yours and you want to get it done and you're fighting things that you have no control over so it's just been very defeating for that one reason i'm going to focus on that we got the land cleared where where we're at so far and the rest of that will come we'll get that figured out so let's get it planted people keep commenting and saying i can't believe you're hand spreading it or I can't believe you're using a spreader and walking it but I'll tell you what this has been one of the easier pots just walking it and spreading the seed and it helps me I can walk the pasture a little bit better and learn the lay of the land Just trying to keep an eye and making sure I'm overlapping my seeds. We got a layer of conservation seed down. Now we want to go around and put on some winter rye. If I can get it in the spreader.
The nice part about the winter rye is it starts to germinate in just a couple of days and starts rooting. What the heck is this thing? Oh, I can't budge it, but it's metal. Might have to go get the tractor and dig her out. Me like some kind of axle for an old wagon. Huh. Right here must be where you hooked the animals, I would say. Something else right here. Old metal ring for something. quite a bit all right go back to the GoPro see if we can pick it up two-handed or at least get it in the bucket somehow Wow she's all there some more pieces of iron interesting Huh. If you have any idea what that is, leave it in the comments down below. That's pretty wild. Guess I better clean this up now and put some fresh grass seed back down. I got two different kinds of solar outdoor lighting for the goats. I need to charge them up before we do too much. There was quite a few options and a huge price range on outdoor solar lighting on Amazon. So I picked two. We'll try two different ones and we'll see how they work. Let's charge them up for the day and hopefully tomorrow I can get them installed. I used the last of the diesel fuel the other day so we gotta top that up when we run out to town. Yeah, we gotta get New York City moved. They need some fresh grass. Can you guys see how washed out the road is? I made a water bar last year and I emptied it out a couple of times this year and it's filled up with silt already.
while I was in town, I had to get some grain. I didn't have any grain for the chick, so I figured I'd pick up some chick grain and some more chicken and pig grain while I was out. Figure out. What are you doing? Getting all dirty for us. Gonna get all covered in gravel. Crazy cat. Yeah, you're a crazy dog. What are you doing? You sound like an Ewok when you girls make that noise. I have an idea for the goat farm, but I need to take some measurements first. a couple ideas that I need to think about. What do you girls think of that idea? Do you like that? I think that might work out pretty good. What about you, Blossom? Do you like it? Can't wait till Gina gets home. I made that for her. I'm telling you, she's gonna love it. Wouldn't you like that if your husband gave that to you? Did you have fun at school today? Yeah. Yeah, what was the favorite part of your day? Coming home and seeing dad? Yeah. You're full of baloney. Did you get school pictures taken today? Yeah. Was that fun? Yeah. Was that the best part? No. No, what was the best part? Reading and writing. Reading and writing. And then listen to your goats screaming for you. Yeah, and also. Blah! Blah. You being nice to Andy there, Moose. Moose, you're the ladies' man. I'm gonna bring the pig some slop. Well, look, scoop of grain. That's some good stuff. Mmm. Looks like you got some tomatoes there from our BLTs. You want some of this? Yeah. You sure? Yeah. Okay. Tonight is pasta night. We like field day organic. They have, whatever we find that they make, we've had very good luck with it. And 
Gina ground up some pork the other day when she made her meatloaf. Let's stick that in there. I'm hoping I'll find a cucumber or two to go with our salad tonight. Oh, I don't know guys. I'm not seeing any small ones. Man. All right, change of plans. Let's see if we can find a small zucchini to go with dinner. Oh, right here. I'll cut that up for the salad. for both you girls at the dinner. Just because yeah, no, I mean, I already know about it. No, she wanted to know about it. I like surprises, but I don't want to know about them. Just show me the surprise. Don't have to tell I'll me. I'll show it to you when we're done eating Yeah, but don't, just don't tell me now. Tell mm. me now. You gotta tell you now, it's funner. No, it's not funner. I don't like it. I'm pretty sure. You ready for your surprise? Yeah. Oh, perfect. It'll be like that. Yeah. I told you. Or like this. Or I like that. that. The girls are going to make a sign on that, and the sign's going to be a surprise for you guys. But it's not going to get done like tomorrow. It's not? Yeah. No. They've got to wait. Oh, man. you got to wait. wait for it to get cut. It's no, they got to wait for while. you to make it. Yeah, it might be a little while because we have to do all Well, get on it. No pressure. No pressure. Get on it. I can hear it in the comments now. Nope. It's going to be when it's going to be. Gina oh. thinks we need to organize our spices. We do. I don't think so. I think that's pretty organized in the no, bags. But listen, we can't even find the thing. We have to dig through the whole entire bucket. Oh. Girls are going to work on that tonight. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Gina says organization excites her. So I'll let you have fun and do that. Okay, but you need to rip all these things. <laughs> Oh, I don't want to have to wash a phone every time. That's no fun. Hey, did you get those covers? Did you get a cover? Did you do all of them? Yep. Don't yes. sneeze. I love this one. <laughs> <laughs> don't said, breathe it in. Why? It's cayenne, cayenne pepper. pepper. Why can't you breathe? You it's can, but it's spicy if you get the dust in your face. I'm kind of curious if that cat's back out waiting for Figaro, because he's in the house tonight. So let's lock up the animals and see if we can find that cat again. Good night. I wish their glowing eyes showed up on camera. They think they need a night snack every night. Sleep tight. I'm not seeing no cats, just some turkeys. And I think Andy went in New York City on his own.
this is where I'm going to end today's video, and I'll see you guys right back here at the next one at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom. Bye. Bye.